In this uh, CAD clip we're going to show you a couple things about uh, some mechanical settings, um, annotation symbols for piping. So let's get started and we'll just use the mechanical template file here. The default out of the box template file that comes with Revit. And the first thing we should always check when we are uh, using um, Revit MEP specifically um, is all of the mechanical settings here. If you go up to the top under systems, okay, you have to make sure that tab is turned on in your options. And under here you can see there's mechanical settings and plumbing and piping settings and electrical settings. Okay, you can kind of get to the same information um, with um, both of these mechanical and plumbing electrical is a little bit different. But if we go into the mechanical settings and we grab that dialog box and we pull it over, we can see that if we go here to, for instance, duct settings, it says use annotation scale for line fittings. And if it's turned on, when you uh, go to um, low de course detail um, and it goes to single line diagrams, um, it'll use kind of an annotative scale and adjust to your scale. Okay. And then this is the overall setting, one eighth of an inch. In this case, we're using an imperial um, template, but this could be, you know, millimeters. It would be about three millimeters if we were talking about. It. So these two settings are set inside of here with both piping and with duct settings. So use annotation scale. So if this is turned on, the symbols will globally adhere to this size, and then then it defers basically to the family itself. If you don't like the size at all, then you have to edit the family. But this will um, control them globally. And that's hoping that the original um, family symbol was created. Uh, and we'll have a quick look at that if we don't uh, run out of time here. So take note of these settings inside of here. Okay, so if we go and draw you know, some pipes. So we're going to draw some pipes. So we're on, you know, level one mechanical offset of uh, nine feet and we'll go with a six inch diameter pipe. So I'm just going to click in here and zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to draw a length of pipe. Notice that I'm in medium detail. Ten feet long and then I'm going to stop. Okay, because I'm in medium detail it just shows it as single line, doesn't show it in detail until we go to fine detail. And now I'm going to change my pipe size. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go down to four inch diameter pipe and then click on there and it's going to put a little reducer symbol. I'm going to move along again and I might go down to, you know, um, two inch piping. Okay, and then I go around the corner. Okay, around the corner again. Come over here and then maybe I go up or uh, let's go um, let's go down okay let's just change this to be four feet okay and it's gonna put another symbol in there and now I'm down lower around I go and then I can come back up to my nine feet and then if I cross that okay at the same elevation it's gonna put the T in. So these are our fitting symbols in here. If we change this to be fine detail we're going to see the actual pipes. Okay, duct work isn't quite the same. Duct work doesn't show you the single line until you get to fine or sorry coarse detail. Coarse detail and medium detail don't change the, the piping uh, symbology, symbology. If you do go to fine detail then you'll see the pipes. So you can see these are the little fittings Okay, that are taking place at various locations. Okay, and you can see that. So what we're talking about is the size of them when you go into this detail level. Okay, so what happens is if you click on here you'll notice it says use annotation scale and the reason why it's deferring to that is because of that setting I said earlier. If that's on this will take on the uh, on the annotation scale. Okay, so now what we need to do is we say, okay, well, these symbols are too big. Well, depends on the scale. If you change your scale to be, you know, different scale factor, okay, the fittings will change sizes because that's what scale factor does. 
right? That's what annotation objects, tax, dimensions, tick marks, and symbology. So globally, you can control the size of them um, back in that setting. So we can go back to our systems, and we can go to mechanical, or we can go into piping. And we can say the pipe settings and this size, we can knock that down and say, you know, um, 1 16th of an inch just to get a, a you know, um, a, a noticeable change. There's no apply button, you just hit OK and they all basically get smaller. So that's kind of it. If you don't want it to follow the annotation scale, you basically take this off and it'll show you the um, low detail level of it but this isn't going to change when you change the scale if you go to here and change your scale these guys are going to change this guy isn't okay if you turn it back on then it'll adhere to it and this again is just my elevation bubble okay if you truly don't like the size of it at the scale that however you you place it at then what you have to do is go in here and you say edit the family And then inside of here, you go down to your floor plan view. You have a look at it, okay? And in this case, it goes by some parameters. So if you go up into your parameters in here, okay, you're going to see one called tick size 2 and tick size 1, okay? You'll notice the factor here is 4. If you change this to be, you know, 2 for both of these, 0.2, and hit apply and hit OK and load that back into the project it'll ask you to overwrite and you say yes with the values and it'll physically change the size of it it's still annotative okay but now we've actually edited that family so that you know it's still gonna follow the scale but it's not gonna be the same size it was before so that's um, kind of how it works if you have to watch that again feel free um, and that's it from CAD Clips.